Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys how to use the basic Luma key. I prefer um, BCC Linear Luma key. But you just pick your, pick your clips how you normally would. Okay, so once you have your clips in, you would just put them how you normally would want them to be. Let's say I want like these ones in. Cut your clips how you'd like them to be. I'll use a tree for the second one. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna scale it real quick. All right. So really quickly, you can use Luma key. This this one's fine. Although I do think that the um, ECC version is better. It's worked better for me in the past, so I I use this one. Um, if you don't have it, I would just go into looking for BCC plugins. Okay, it works as a uh, opacity for brighter and darker. So if you use brighter, it's going to key out the brighter parts. If you key out the darker parts, the darker parts are going to go away. Um, softness, it's going to start at 5. I would turn it up. It looks like it'll, I'll show you. It looks, it has these really rough edges and I, I would prefer that like mine aren't, it looks a little bit better this way. And then you just have to keyframe it a little differently. And then the threshold is how much of the, like the limit to how dark it's going to be before it stops like, um, or like it keys out. So if you keyframe it, it should look like this. I would say it's all the way out. And then it'll come in, the brights will come in first because I keyed out the dark. And then uh, it'll look like that. It should look really nice. I think um, Linear Luma Key is a great effect, even at any level of editing. I think beginners, this, this is something that you should learn quickly. Um, the softness. Post blur is also nice. It'll like blur just like anything that you keyed but I don't use it as much. The other effects aren't as important, I'd say, but you can learn them as well. It's just like, um, this one has to do with brightness, exposure, like in the, when you open exposure, this is also there. Um, this would be like the offset. So like if you use threshold and then it'll like um, offset, and it'll, like you just, it would just change your threshold. Choke, it's, I can't really describe it that well, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's the same thing with threshold. Um, and then these up here, this would be like if you had like a very red clip, it would get like your reds, greens, and blues. It would um, key out those as well. This, how this works is invert alpha would, whatever you're keying out is the only thing that's keyed in. So it would like start from the tree and then start from the whole clip and then end with just the tree because it's um, only keeping the dark parts. Um, these ones are also, like you could do stuff like this, but I would, for beginners, I would keep it at just these two, especially this one. This one's very simple, easy to use. It's a good effect, it's like capacity, but I think it looks better. Um, that should be all you guys need to know. It's a very simple effect. I think it's great for everybody.